Well, Ziggy, thank you very much for meeting us here backstage. Before we talk about your, your studio album, your newest, I would like to talk about social media because I saw that you post a lot of photos yeah. um, from the places where you go. I mean, everyone is kind of using social media, but yeah. When you do it, for me, it seems it's very authentic. Mm -hmm. You don't really think if that, oh, that, you, you just do it, right? It's like Yeah, man, yeah, real, real, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, because, I mean, yeah, I don't like fake. I don't like being, you know, being, trying to, being fooled. I like things to be real. And so I try, I, you know, I want to be real with people. I want them to know the real me and people can see where I've been to and what, I've, what I'm doing and also the things that I believe in and things that we all can believe in. You have a song called uh, See Them Fake Leaders mm -hmm. and fake is kind of a very contemporary word. It's mm -hmm. being used a lot. Yeah. What are you trying to tap into when you sing about See Them Fake Leaders? Well, I'm trying to address the issues we have in the world and why after so much years of human history that the people at the top cannot seem, seem to um, figure out how to make the world a more unified place, less divisiveness, less fighting, less, less racism. It's really strange to me that after so much history and so much example of what, what works and what doesn't work, that we haven't figured it out yet that um, killing each other doesn't work. It doesn't, not for most, it works for maybe people who make money from selling weapons and people who, who, who use divisiveness as a way to maintain power and control. But for the majority of us, it, it does not work. So I blame leadership. I'm saying that those who have the influence in the places of power that can influence um, world events or, 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 or societies have not been doing their job properly for the majority of us on earth. What makes a good leader then? A good leader is someone who can bring people together. This, this is a true example of a leader. Who can bring people who don't like you, people who like you and bring them together. This is what leadership is. Otherwise, you're not leading. You know, that's, to, divide is a old, to divide and conquer is an old terminology. That's not leadership. Leadership is bringing together. In this time, at least, that's what we want in a leader. We don't want the old type of leadership that always traffic separate people, you know, so that's, that's, what I, that's what I know a true leader can be and it is possible, the world can be better, we can have better relationship with each other, we can have less war, less violence, more prosperity, but we need good leadership at the top, a leader that, a leaders that can bring the world together and work for the common good of humanity. Is there a good leader, an example of it? Not today, not, not today. You recently posted, uh, I actually saw, um, uh, article on... Hello, no, excuse me on that one. At least people are trying because one thing I just... The Eritrea, Ethiopia. Exactly. That, that, that is a good example of leadership. You know, that is a good... Two, two leaders coming together and say, peace. That is a great example. Mm. Yeah, I saw that you posted uh, that article of uh, Ethiopia and Eritrea uh, having peace that's talks. A great, that's a great example of what leaders should do. We need more of that. And Rebellion Rises is your seventh studio album, and it seems that this project means a lot to you. Why is it so important? No, I feel something in my heart. I feel like I am doing something that is necessary. I feel like I'm doing something that is, um, has a purpose, and I feel like I've been given a purpose. And this album represents the purpose. The purpose is humanity, to uplift humanity, to to let humanity see ourselves as, 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 as one human race. It is important in this time. Because as I said, the old style, the old, the old indoctrination ideologies of dividing us is not the future of humanity. Can you give me an example for humanity? Well, we had the Eritrea, uh, Antiopia Eritrea. Is, are there, are, because for me, it's kind of abstract. What are It's hard, we? it's hard, it's hard because my concert is a good example. We play all over the world, thousands of people. Concerts are a good example of humanity. <laughs> it's a movement, you call people, it. People are together, enjoying. They're not, 
you know, they're not fighting each other, killing each other. They're, they're here enjoying a music and a message in our concerts. So I use that, when, and when I do my concerts, I tell the people, this is an example of what the world can be. We are all examples to each other. And so whenever people gather together um, in, 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 um, in, in purpose of humanity, in purpose of peace and love, and in purpose of justice, non-violence is a, is a good example for us all. Then uh, for this uh, album, you had your son uh, on the cover with you, hand in hand. Yeah. Um, it seems like you like to include your family when it comes to work as well. They like to include themselves. Is it? <laughs> so? <laughs> yeah, well, them, no, they love coming around and I'm making music and doing things. And I like having them around. They're inspirational. And they're also um, the future. Uh, my children, oh, the world's children is where a lot of the attention needs to be put in order to create the world that we are, we are envisioning, the world that we are striving to create. It really begins with the children, and so to have them a part of what we're doing and understanding that the music that Daddy is doing is more than just entertainment, is more than just selfish purpose. It is for, to make the world a better place, and they get that. You're kind of uh, continuing your father's Bob Marley's legacy, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yes, and legacies before that, because throughout the history of mankind, human, humanity, there always needs to be a voice, this voice that you hear now, this album. It, we, we always need that. We always, humanity always needs it. So it's a legacy that really has been happening for many, 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 many years. My father is a part of the legacy. Before him was someone else, before him was someone else, I am a part of that legacy. And it's a spiritual legacy. It's a legacy that, that has many of us feel a purpose in life. And that is a legacy, that purpose in life that we, we can make, leave this world better by, by giving to it, by, by, by inspiring and by spreading goodwill and consciousness throughout the world. What else did you learn from your father besides um, spreading love and, and, and peace, and maybe when it comes to being a parent? Well, when it comes to being a parent, I, what I learned from my father is lead by example. Um, words good, words good, but example is, is, is a part of it too, so your actions have to speak, you know, that's the saying, your actions have to speak louder than your words, and that is what I learned from him. Because when, when I was growing up with him, I observed more than like talking to me, it was more me observing as a child what my father was doing, what my mother was doing, and um, the purpose and the impact they had. Then you got a lot of recognition from the music industry. I mean, you won uh, eight Grammys. Um, but still, as a musician, you have to have money coming in, money going out. Where do you see the music industry going with the whole transformation? Yeah, you well, know, with I mean, Spotify, Tindall and... Well, it's good. I mean, it is, it is, it is, it is something that we cannot... Um, be against. It is something that we have to adapt to. Um, I'm coming from a generation that was used to vinyl. You know? I grew exactly, up with vinyl yeah. and music sales and stuff like that. But this new way of, uh, of um, people getting music is uh, for, for, for the music listener is much more accessible um, and they can choose. They have, they have so many choices now. And so we just have to adapt with it and the money side of it, I mean... I don't really focus on it so much because I do what I'm supposed to be doing. But you still need to earn money. Eh? You still need to earn money. Yeah, but if I don't earn money, I still have to survive. Is money, I mean, I have to survive. I have to live. I can plant some food. I have to live. It, money, money isn't on the forefront of my mind to live. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, we need money to buy stuff, but it isn't what drives us. Um, and so, but, and then I say, you know, if the money is coming in for whatever we're doing, it's okay, it's, it's fine. Um, we appreciate the support from the people because it's people supporting what we're doing and helping me to pay my bills, right? So we appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we are, we are happy. We are, we, we don't, we're not chasing up. We don't, we don't want to be, we don't have to be billionaires to be happy. I don't have to be a billionaire. I don't have, I can't be happy. Living well, you're very a millionaire, similar. let's say it that way, so. I'm a, maybe a small millionaire. <laughs> I mean, in the lower edge. It was like t 10 million per year, I that's read. That's what they say? Yeah, that's what they say. I wish, I wish. <laughs> I wish. Well, um, 
but so this whole music transformation, I mean, I mentioned Spotify. You even have an EP called the Spotify EP. Yeah, we have to work with the partners to um, help to get the music out because that is, uh, that is the ultimate goal, really. Um, so you're advertising for Spotify? They're helping me, I'm helping them. I have to, we have to work together. This is how the world works. We cannot, nobody can stand by themselves. We have to help each other out. So if Spotify is willing to promote my music, I'm willing to promote them because, you know, we have to help each other out. And again, the ultimate goal is really to get the message out because the message is the wealth. That is, the, that is really the richness of what we do. It's the appreciation of the people for what we're doing, you know, and that is really a spiritual richness that money can't buy, you know. Well, and if you're on Spotify nowadays, I mean, if I think of Drake with uh, what was one billion streams, you can get the message out there to many people. Yeah, man, it's, it's important. Yeah. Today with the internet and yeah. all that. Um, then I also saw that you have other businesses besides music. You have a cookbook uh, called Ziggy and the Family, Ziggy Marley and the Family. So you like to cook for your family. You're yeah, a houseman course. sometimes. Yeah, of course. I mean, I have to survive, right? That's what we're saying. Like, we have to, we have to be able to do different things. Um, and the cookbook is really is something that came about just as a, like, we did it on a whim. It wasn't something that we, like, plotted to do or, or planned to do. It just happened. Um, I was cooking one day, and we said, hey, look at, my, look at this pretty food that I made. Oh, let's do a cookbook. OK, let's do a cookbook. But again, doing stuff like that, in today's music industry, for me, I'm an independent artist, so I'm not I'm not supported by a label. Like um, labels, labels put money into their artists to promote them and to get as much, you know, shelf space and whatever. I'm an independent artist, so I have to find other means to um, get my message out there. And doing a cookbook is just another way of trying to reach people to introduce myself to them in a different space, which is important for me. Does the name Marley help a little bit? Because you say an independent artist. I imagine other independent artists might be much harder for them. Well, it help if you if you're doing something good. It don't help if you're doing something bad. It help if you have some if you if you've worked hard <laughs> over years to establish your your music and your identity. It helps, but if it if you don't have nothing, if you it doesn't help. Name 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 alone can not it won't work today. You have to have some. You have to have something, and we've built many, many um, examples of who we are throughout many years of working hard. You know. No, I believe that absolutely. But still, I guess uh, being the son of Bob Marley helps, right? Because everyone knows Bob Marley. I mean, it helps to it helps to get the door this open. Uh -huh. But to open a door like that, you have to have something else this, this, besides that. It can't just be that. Then also, I saw uh, you have your own emojis. Yeah. So after Kim Kardashian, it's Ziggy Marley's. <laughs> because she has her own emojis as well. So Yeah, I mean, everything we do is we try to extend our reach. Reach more people because the emojis introduce you to me. I introduce you to this message, to this music. That is what this is about. There's, everything we do is about trying to get more people to hear what we're talking about. Trying to get humanity to listen to this message that we're giving, you know. So everything we do is, is about that. And with emojis, you can send a lot of messages without words, huh? Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Emojis, yeah, you never talk too much. <laughs> you use them a lot yourself? Once in a, with my wife, I use them. <laughs> what do you send her? <laughs> the, love, the love one, you know, the love one. <laughs> the love one. Um, so now you're here in Zurich. Yeah. How did you catch up? How is the vibe here? The vibe? No, I always like um, Switzerland. From, I've been coming for years. I haven't been to Europe in many years now. It's been a long time. Why that? Um, I don't know. It was difficult to come over here. You know, I have a big band, so it's not very easy to bring a big band over. You know, it's, it, it, CNN money it costs a lot of money to bring. So, you know, we have to be, we have to be smart about that because uh, we have to, everybody, livelihood, you know? So we do, that, we do a lot of tours in America mostly, but now we're trying to come back to Europe and um, establish ourselves back here in Europe. And Switzerland was always a, a, a great place for us to come and play music. But do you think maybe of other ways to found maybe your tour, maybe crowdfunding, sponsorships? Have you done that or thought of that? No, it's hard for me to do that. Why? 
I don't know. I, I don't know. I, the people that do a lot for us already. It's hard to ask them for the more. You know what I'm saying? So, I, yeah, I'm not there. So, what's coming up next after this tour for you? Um, I don't know. After this tour, I'm not sure what's coming up next. Um, maybe just relax. <laughs> relax sounds <laughs> very good. Yeah. Ziggy Marnie, thank you very much yeah, and man. all the best. Thank you very much.